this whole piece of property, which collectively, this whole part of, of this whole peninsula is called Avoca, A-B-O-C-A. And Avoca has always had a mystique about it. Back in the early 1800s, it was a Civil War plantation. I love the country. The drive in here, when we very first came down here, and that four mile drive in here through that farmland. And the sage was in bloom from Avoca Farms. It's just, it's like this is home. The first thing you're gonna notice is how quiet it is. It was kind of a jaw-dropping experience. This used to be farmland, and it's just unbelievable what it's turned into. I grew up in this area, and this is such, in my opinion, uncommon for this area. This is just, you know, top, top of the line. This is beautiful. It's so, so relaxing. We've been retired almost 20 years, and this is the best it gets. We just love being down here. It's just such a quiet, peaceful place. It's not a hubbub of traffic. It's just, it's just wonderful. So it's the views, it's the serenity, the activities, the, you know, the lifestyle that you could have here. We were looking for, um, you know, something that had a sense of outdoors because our family is very outdoorsy. We camp a lot. We like to do a lot of outdoor activities. We enjoy golf and uh, just the layout of the property itself caught our eye more than the traditional properties. We looked at a number of other properties and they seem to be tailored more toward um, retire, just seeing only retirement type communities. And um, we were looking for, you know, a second home for our family. It must be the water. It must be the sound. It must be because no one else is here. <laughs> Well, it, it's not really in the middle of nowhere, but it's not in the middle of metropolitan, you know, city either. And so within close proximity, 15 miles, you can go to Edenton or Plymouth or, or Windsor. And each of them have their own little special places to go there. But yet you're not that far from, from Raleigh, where, where we live, to, to Norfolk and Greenville and, and larger areas. I mean, we just both, we looked out on that sound and we just, Thought, wow, this is wonderful. Well, we love uh, we love the water. We've got boats and uh, we fish and pull them on skis and you know just boat ride. Well, you just got a number of choices to, to take. Uh, you can go out on the Albemarle Sound. If it's too windy or anything, you can turn left here and go up Salmon Creek. And the further you go, the prettier it gets. Just fun. It's a lifestyle. It's, it's about having your kids, your family, your friends with you in the prettiest place on earth. We're going to be able to have a dock uh, here on, on our lot and our kids can't wait to get down here. The grandkids are absolutely ecstatic. I just like the area. It's very nice and quiet and I think the, the homes are wonderful. It's not the typical beach house. It's built up on stilts. They're really nice looking houses. something that you could use now as a second home but also eventually to retire to. Um, yes. no, but we might buy a vacation house. There's full-size homes and full families, but there's also cottages. The design and the layout gives you a consistency of, of that quality and that comfort. We've lived everywhere from Hawaii to Connecticut, and I've never seen a development that had all the infrastructure in before they really promoted the sale of the lots. The project has no debt. We have no debt, which is totally unheard of in this environment. Living on a golf course is a wonderful experience. I mean, it's like having the biggest lawn in the world in front of you. And somebody else gets to mud. If you like to play golf, this is probably the best golf course in Eastern North Carolina, if not all of North Carolina. That Arnold Palmer golf course is just fantastic. It's a difficult course to play, 
but it's maintained the PGA standards and I've played courses all the way from California all the way to Pinehurst. And I'll stack Scotch Hall Preserve against any of those courses any day of the week. It was a beautiful course, nice breeze on the water. It's definitely one of the most beautiful golf courses I've played on. Good friends and nice golf, and you can't beat it. Well, I think these days it seems everybody wants to try something new. And I think we're, what we're trying to find here is a, is a way to introduce the family to shooting sports. Pull. Sporting clays, archery, air rifle, in a way that's conducive for everyone to have a lot of fun. And that's important so that, you know, it's, uh, if you're coming out, you've never shot before, you're going to get the best experience you can have. I had a dream all these years. It was to be on the water. We walked onto this very lot. It was it was just amazing. And we just found heaven. Just a gift.